All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I'm on the James River in Virginia, launched out of Osborne Boat Ramp. I've always heard there was big catfish in the James River. We're here after a cold front. It is cold, but I'm here to find out if the rumor's true and if we're really gonna catch some big catfish. It's late afternoon. I had to buy a fishing license. I had to catch bait. I bought some eels, a couple of eels, because I heard they like to chew on them around here. I got these at the uh, James River Tackle Company. Man, these things are slimy. Can't hardly get a hold of them. But between the gizzard shad and the eel, and being out here on this river, I'm hoping we catch some fish. It was about a nine hour drive for me due to the bad weather. I'm starting on the upper end of the river, gonna work my way down while I'm here. We're going to try here. We're in about a 50 foot hole here. The old team catfish rod. We'll try a shad first. Sun's a little bit in the camera. So we're getting a late start, man, but trying to get situated, trying to get a license trying to get bait, trying to find a ramp, and then get out here. Woo! The old Berkeley E-Cat. I don't anchor fish often, but we're going to here. My rivers back home ain't got this kind of current. We are officially fishing the James River in Virginia. Woo! All right, y'all, my graph does not do me much good in here. It's showing me a white line for the channel. It's not showing me none of these holes or nothing. I had, I've already passed a couple holes. This is the second one, or actually the third of anything at all and uh, a lot of this thing's only 20 something foot deep here we're in 50 something and my graph don't show me I'm just having to ride around and look as I go if I see something interesting I look around see if I can see any fish I'm seeing a few fish in here and there's some bait deep on the bottom in this area so as cold as it is fish could be in the mud we're not really marking them that good it's a good spot, technically, although we haven't even near went down the river yet. But I'm going to give it a little bit. We're hooked up!
I believe he may have tangled up my line. I keep seeing fish go right up under the boat. I'm gonna drop a suspended bait. I'm gonna eat a few sunflower seeds. It ain't no fast bite. We ain't getting a ton of bites. We ain't had nothing now in about 30 minutes. We're getting close to high tide. And this current has just about stopped. Either way, I'm going to eat a piece of pepper jack cheese. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. That's more of a Tennessee kind of catfish there. They bite just as hard. Yeah, that's more like a Tennessee cat. Let go. Let go.
He done splashed water in my cheese. Well, we know they'll eat the shad. I haven't tried a piece of that eel yet. I'm not gonna try it until I finish my cheese. Yeah. Man, them things are slimy. I ain't never cut an eel before, but they leave some kind of green stuff all over your cooler. This current has just about came to a stop. We're getting close to high tide. On the suspended bait. This current's getting real slack. We're getting close to high tide. During the slack period, suspended bait. I'm messing around on the shallow flat. I marked several big fish up here in like four foot of water. But I should be double anchored 
and throwing rigs right on the bottom. I've got these demon dragons on there suspending them up pretty high on two of the rods. There's a bite right there. Some old small fish. We caught a fish on that eel. That's a Watts bar size catfish right there. Either way, I'm catching catfish in a river I've never been in before. Getting a late start. It's getting cold, y'all. y'all we got another one a little short fat thing All right, people, uh, my first time on the James River, got a late start. Uh, I got out here right towards the end of high tide and the current was at maximum flow. And the fish came fairly easy. Once that tide changed, there was a slack period. The wind was blowing hard. I just kind of rode around, experimented with the river. I'm handicapped because uh, my Navionics doesn't read this bottom. It shows me a white line of channel but it's not telling me if it's a hole or, you know, you can be in 20 foot or in a 50 foot hole and it's just all the same on my graph. So I had to ride around and look uh, just kind of slowly. And I just experimented with the river, found a few places to fish and I boated some fish my first time here and uh, a couple nice ones, you know, uh, tough day as far as bluebird skies after a front in the morning. It's going to be really cold uh, down to 26, but uh, here we are, James River. Got her done, had some fun. This is a video. There was fish in the video. 
that was a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one signing out.